1965 Immigration Act has to be seen first and foremost as a civil rights measure. It was passed at that time when uh, the U.S. Congress was passing a variety of civil rights laws, of course the 1964 Civil Rights Act and the 1965 Voting Rights Act, and those laws eliminated discrimination, racial discrimination, prohibited racial discrimination in public accommodations, uh, and there was a feeling in Congress that that same notion of ending discrimination should also be applied to U.S. immigration policy. Up until 1965, U.S. immigration policy was heavily biased in favor of Europeans, and in particular Northern and Western Europeans. So tens of thousands of immigrant visas were reserved for Northern and Western Europeans, while Southern and Eastern Europeans, and especially Asians and Africans and Middle Easterners, had very little chance to immigrate to the United States. They were discriminated against on the basis of their national origins. Uh, and there was a feeling uh, across the country and in Congress that it was time to end that discriminatory practice. So the 1965 Immigration Act abolished what had been a this national origin quota system that had been in place for more than 40 years. People from all countries, nationalities, had more or less an equal opportunity to immigrate to the United States. So it was a really landmark uh, law in the history of U.S. immigration law. 